chalk another one up. We're going to get this thing out of the ground, get it cleaned up. Uh, for reference, it rang up at uh, right, right between 1224, uh, 1432 on the E-Track. What would happen to find it then? Are you going to be able to keep it quiet from it? I'm going to try. <laughs> Well, I got something here you might be looking for. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, it's gold. Yes. I thought it was white gold. It was not no. white gold. It's yellow gold. It's yellow gold. Oh, oh my god. god. That's seriously, he lost that how many years ago now? What, probably six years? <laughs> oh my god. Can I give you a hug? <laughs> oh, thank you so much. Hey everyone. String Frenzy from the forums, or if you're from the Facebook end of things, Treasure Seeker, Ohio Metal Detecting on YouTube and Twitter. Some of you may remember the video I uploaded a while back about a gold class ring that had been missing six years. I recovered for a mother to return to her son as a Christmas surprise. I'll make sure and add the video down below in the video response section. That way you can see it if you'd like to check that video out. Surprisingly enough, they were able to keep it a surprise up until Christmas and they were nice enough to take a couple of video clips so that we can go along and see the reaction as well. I apologize in advance for any audio or grainy video but sometimes when you're trying to grab these reactions the clips are taken on the run kind of spur of the moment. It doesn't change the contact, the content material, but it does go a long way in showing that this great hobby can stay in a good light by doing these recoveries and returns and it's just a wonderful thing when you're able to hand somebody that special item back like that. So come along, see the reaction for yourself. We hope you enjoy it and thanks for watching. It's the most expensive thing of all. Really? Yes. <laughs> I don't know if I like that. And you will. It's one of a kind. <laughs> it is. Yeah, look, it's Eric Wachtefeld. <laughs> <laughs> She's reading the newspaper. <laughs> no, I saw a picture of Eric and I was like, wait, that guy looks familiar. <laughs> Eric Wachtefeld. Yeah, that's Eric Wachtefeld. I promise you, nobody in the world has... Sympathy. What's about to be in this box? I had some help. Took some, took a little effort to pull it off, but after six years, it took a lot of effort to hide it <laughs> and to keep it a secret since we found it. How long did you keep it a secret? Since a good uh, a good six, six to eight months. months. Oh okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. I was just thinking. Like, the other day, I was like, wow, I really wish I would have had my classroom. Put it on, see if it still fits. Yeah, it still fits. Hey. <laughs> what do you 
What do you think? It's awesome. I love it. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, you know how hard it was to keep that a secret. Oh, are you videotaping? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so are you you're surprised? Yeah. It's probably surprised. the last thing on earth you yes, expected yes, to it be. Yes, yes, it was. <laughs> Where did you find this? Where you lost it? <laughs> really? Yes. Where? In the where? driveway. What? Yes. How did? How did About you? what? Four inches down. Uh -huh. Are you serious? I'm serious. There's a video of the whole thing, and I'll share it with you. So That's cool. I gotta find it first. So. And then you'll then it'll then you'll know exactly how it all happened. But somebody documented the whole thing on video. Which is why we're documenting the end result For that on reason. video. Um, I didn't think I was ever going to see it again. I was just thinking the other day, wow, I really wish I had my ring back. I don't know. I just never thought I'd see it again. I looked and looked for it, and just, I really appreciate it. Thank you.